Uh, because there is a kasra here, Sister Nasreen, who will become he. Remember, we had studied. Why, who became he? Because there is a kasra before, you know. Remember, we say he, he, and we don't say he, who, like that. Huh? Okay. Kita, min kita, be he, not min kita, be who. We don't say that, you know. So, the question is, brothers and sisters, where did his mother go? So we will say, she went to his aunt. Whose aunt? Ibrahim's aunt. So how will you write it? Zahabat ila khala tihi. Got the idea? Zahabat ila khala tihi. Very good, brother. If you want to, you can put Zainab. Khala tihi Zainaba. Put it Zainaba if you want. That's fine. No harm there. Okay? And then again Zainaba is? Badal. Badal. Zahabat ila khala tihi Zainab. You can say that. Okay. Mata raja Ibrahimu min al madrasati raja Ibrahimu. So where is the file of raja? Ibrahimu. Remember, file is always marfu. And once you know all these things, it's easy in the Quran for you to figure out where the file is, you know. You will have a better understanding of the construction of the sentences in the Quran, inshallah. Mata raja. So what will be your answer? Raja, he returned. Raja, Bada, Badal Hissatil Ula. Badal Hissatil Ula. Remember. Fine, brother. Now, next is very simple and easy. Dr. Abdurrahim would like to test us whether we understood the sentences or not. Okay. Ibrahimu Ibn Ukhti Yusufa. Is it correct? Ibrahim is the son of sister of Yusuf. Is it correct? Yeah. No, this is correct. This sentence is correct. Uh, Ibrahimu, brothers and sisters, what is Ibrahimu? Mubtada. Where is Khabar? Ibn. Okay. Ibn is your Khabar, wa huwa mudaf. And where is mudaf ilayhi? Ukhti. And then Ukhti is a mudaf, and Yusufa is mudaf ilayhi, because it's diptot. Got the idea? Did you get it, brother uh, Hassan? Ibn Ukhti Yusufa. How many words are there? Three. So Ibn is first, it is Khabar. Wahuwa mudaf. And where is mudaf ilayhi? Ukhti. And then again, there is another noun after ukhti. So ukhti becomes in turn mudaf, and Yusuf becomes mudaf ilahi. Got the idea? Yusufu ammu Ibrahima. Is it correct? No, this is wrong. Yusufu khalu Ibrahima. Huh? Yusufu khalu Ibrahima. Akhwatu Ibrahima. See, this is mudaf mudaf ilahi. Akhwatu Ibrahima zahabna ilal maktabati. Is it correct? No. Where did they go? Zahabna ilal madrasati. They did not go to library. They went to the school. Fine, brother. Ikhwatu Ibrahima. Again, mudaf mudaf ilahi. Brothers of Ibrahim, Zahabu, see how the verbs are used. Zahabna and then Zahabu. Ilal eh? Jamiati. Is it correct? Yes, yes. yes, this is correct. Ibrahimu Ma Zahaba Ilat Tabibi. Ibrahim 
he did not go to the doctor. Is it correct? It's wrong. But then look at the sentence, just for the fun of it. We are going to analyze it. Ibrahimu Muqtada. Huh? Where is the khabar? Huh? Khabar is jumla failure. Huh? What is ma? Harfu nafi. What is ma? Huh? Particle of negation. And then what is zahaba? Fial. Where is the file? Mustatir. He went. Huh? Mustatir. And then ila tabibi? Ila tabibi? Jar majrur shubu jumla. So where is... No, 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 no. The whole jumla zahaba ila tabibi is the khabar. And how will you say khabar? Jumlatul fialiyatu. What is it? Jumlatul fialiyatu coming as a khabar. Huh? Do not get confused, huh, brother. Now, put in the, brothers and sisters, this is the real halwa puri. Put in the exercise uh, suitable verb form, suitable verb form of zahaba. You know the 14 forms of zahaba. So put the suitable form of zahaba, okay, in the empty spots, okay. Find this is very easy, brother. Very, very easy. You can score hundred points in it, inshallah. Al auladu zahabu khalas. Again, just to point out to you, al auladu muftada. Where is our khabar? Zahabu. What is zahabu then? Jumla failure. Huh? This is how it is coming. Khabar is coming as a jumla failure. Fine. Al auladu zahabu. Where is the file of zahabu? Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Al huh? malabi. Malabi is the playground. Huh? The, the boys went to the playground. Okay, brother? At-talibatu Zahabna we, we know it brother Zahabna ilal madrasati So again Zahabna ilal madrasati Is a jumla fi'aliya Coming as a khabar Al-mudarrisu Zahabna khalas brother Ana Zahab khalas Ukhti Muanna sabada My sister Ukhti two words Ukhti mudaf and ya mudaf ilay. So ukh, ukhtu brothers and sisters, I would, I, I would say ukhtu mudaf and ya mutakallam mudaf ilayhi. What is ukhtu? Mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf and ya mutakallam mudaf. What kind of a word will we use? Zahabat. Because it is monas third person. Ukhti zahabat ilal matwakhi. She went to the kitchen. Ay anta. Aina Zahabta. Aina Zahabta. Where did you go? Huh? Aina Zahabta. Anta. Suppose it was Anti. What would you say? Aina Zahabti Anti. Got the idea? Isn't this simple, brother? I hope you find it extremely simple. Huh? Inshallah. Huh? Yes, indeed. Now is our test. Brother, I want you to pass in this test. The verbs are wrong. Huh? The verb form is incorrect. We have to put the correct form of verb. Again, it is very easy. You know why? Because we are only dealing with Zahaba. So it's very easy. And maybe Raja, which also we did it, inshallah. So... You are asking Ya Muhammad. So what will you tell him? Huh? The, the verb is Zahabtu. Is that correct? No. What it should be? No. Khalas, that's all. See, now your mind can figure out that that is wrong. Zahabtu is I. Huh? We are asking Muhammad, where did you go? Or did you go to the hospital? Huh? Did you go to the hospital? So we will say, a Zahab. Very good. Now, brothers and sisters, 
Aminatu wa Fatimatu wa Zainabu. Now this makes it into plural. Plural. Three. Huh? Okay? So Raja'u. What is Raja'u? That is masculine. But these are all feminine. So what will you say? Raja'ana. Remember Sukun there. Raja'ana. Khalas. They returned from Jamia. Number three, Zumalai. What is Zumalai? My colleagues. Masculine, brother. So, what kind of a verb is this? Zumalai. Zahabu. Zumalai. Zahabu. Illa makkata. I don't makkata. Hmm? Diptot. Ana rajata. What will be Ana? Rajatu. Mashallah. Ana rajatu min riyadi amsi. What is amsi, brother? Zarf. Zarfu zaman. Yesterday. Amsi is zarfu zaman. Now look at it, brother and sisters. Maryamu wa banatuha. What is it, brother? Maryamu wa banatuha. What it should be? Zahabna. Not zahabat. Zahabna. Got the idea, brother Muhammad? Yes. Alhamdulillah. Illa juddata. Juddata. Fine, brother. Okay, now this is. Remember, brother? Kala, he said. Can we conjugate a little bit of kala? Ready? Kala. Kala. Kalu. Kalat. Kalata. That's enough. Huh? Because we will do the rest in the end of book two. Okay, brother. So, ummi. Huh? So, what will be the verb now? Kalat. It has to be kalat because our mind now can figure out. Ummi kalat. What did she say? Ana. Is this correct? What will she say? Maridatun. See, now our mind figures out that khabar has to match mubtada. Ana in this case is muannas. So khabar has to be muannas. Masha'Allah. But this way we'll finish the book by tonight, inshallah. <laughs> okay. okay. Here are we, brothers and sisters. Ajib. Answer the question with negation using ma. What is the sentence, brothers and sisters? Azahabta ilal madrasati amsi. Did you go to school yesterday? You got to say no. What will be your answer? La. And then you will say, Ma, zahabtu khalas. That's all you are going to answer. Zahabta became zahabtu. I did not go. Araja'a abuka min baghdada. Araja'a abuka min baghdada. What will you say? La. And what, how will you use now? Ma. Nee, brother, if we are talking about the father. So, ma raja khalas. He did not return. Ma raja. Huh? Now the file is a pronoun. Means he did not return. If you, if you want to use file as a, you know, then you will say ma raja abhi. Abu, abu ka became abhi. Got the idea? Inshallah. Okay. Azahabat uhtuka. Ilal Mustashfa. See, uh, Raja Abu Abu is the file there. Remember Abu Ka. Okay. Now Azahabat Uhtu Ka. Where is the file? Uhtu. Huh? Okay, fine. Now Uhtu Ka it is your sister. Now you will say my sister. But you don't want to use my sister, you just want to use the pronoun. So what will you say? La Ma. Zahabat. Khalas, that is, uh, it is, answer is sufficient. Ma, what about second? Araja abuka min baghdada. La. Ma raja. Khalas. Uh, he did not return. It is understood. Uh, the rest of the sentence is understood. Zahabat uhtuka. 
Hello, Mustashfa, did your sister go to Mustashfa? What is your answer? La. Ma zahabat, because mournness. Ta'ammal ma yali, ponder what follows. Li anna, see li plus anna. And what does it say? Wa anna min akhwatu inna. Do you get it? But highlight it, brother. What will you highlight it? Anna wa anna min akhwatu inna. Only that. Wa anna min akhwatu inna. That's all you should highlight. Wa anna. Okay, that's all, brother. So, li anna, oh brother, Dr. Sahib has given here four. Li annahu, li annaha, li annaka. Let us do fourteen. Ready? Li annahu, li annahuma, li annahum, li annaha, li annahuma, li annahunna, li annaka, li annakuma, li annakum. لِأَنَّكِ لِأَنَّكُمَا لِأَنَّكُنَّ لِأَنَّنِي And then لِأَنَّنَا خلاص brother Easy What did you do now? Huh? We just did Anna plus the Damir as a Ismu Anna Mansubun Got the idea? When you say لِأَنَّهُ Anna مِنْ أَخْوَاتُ إِنَّا what is who? Ismu Anna. Huh? Ismu Anna Mansu. Khalas. That's all. Raja Hamidun Minal Madrasati. Where is the file of Raja? See, now it is Mawjud. It is Mawjud in the sentence. So remember only Hua and Hia in these two forms only. In huwa and hiya, the file can be mustatir or can be maujud in the sentence. So, raja hamidun, hamidun is your file. Min al-madrasati, he returned from the school. Why? Because he is sili annahu maridun. Now, raja at aminatu, where is the file? Aminatu min al madrasati li annaha because she is. Are you with me? Li annaha means because she is maridatun. Now it is maridatun. I hope you will remember this. Okay, that that the mubtada and the khabar they agree with with each other. For gender. What is it, what is it for? Gender. Mornas, mornas. Muzakkar, muzakkar. So, li anna ha. So, ha is a mornas ismu anna. So, the khabar has to match ha. Okay. Rajatu min al madrasati. I return from the school. Why? Li annani maridatun. So, it depends if the Muzakkar is saying this statement, he will say, Li annani maridun. If a monas is saying this sentence, then she will say, Li annani maridatun. Fine, brothers and sisters. Now we come to, Azahta ilal madrasati amsi. See, this is a statement, no negation. Azahta ilal madrasati amsi. What is the answer? Naam zahabtu. Fiel fine. What Dr. Abdurrahim now wants us to know, how to use bala. What is it, brothers and sisters? How to use bala as an answer. Okay. Ama zahabta ilal madrasati amsi. Didn't you go to the school yesterday? Now if your answer is an affirmation. Yes, I, I, I went. Huh? What will you say? Bala. Zahabtu. Yes, indeed, I went. Are you with me? 
Now you got to find out the answer. Araja abuka minasuki araja. Translate, brother, the the question. Araja abuka minasuki. Did your father? No negation. Did your father? What will your answer? Naam. Then. No, brother, Raja, too, then I returned. Raja. Raja. Raja, khalas. He returned. Eh? Okay, fine. Now, Ama Raja, how will you translate this? Didn't your father, did not your father return from the souk? What will be your answer now? Bala. And Raja. Bala, Raja. Got the idea, brother and sister? If you want to highlight, uh, just the negation part of it, uh, just the negation part of it, then you know it is negation in the uh, question. And if you have other color of highlighter, then you can use the other color for statement, you know. Now, brother and sister, number third, how will you read the sentence? Layla is there. So what is our Layla there? Fahil. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. How will you say? Azahabat Layla ilal jamiyati. Translation, brother and sister. Azahabat Layla ilal jamiyati. Translation. Did Layla go to the jamia? What is the answer? Naam. Zahabat. Very good. She went. Huh? Not Zahabtu or Zahabti. Huh? Zahabat. She went. Now the next question, brother. Ama Zahaba. Okay, negation. Ma Zahaba Akhuka. So where is the file of Zahaba? Akhu. Mudaf Mudafili. Ama Zahaba Akhuka ila Ruyadi. Translation, brother. Didn't your brother go to Riyadh? Bala. And then Zahaba. Yes, he went. Yes, indeed he went. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Father, I told you this way we'll finish the book by tonight. <laughs> Did you find any difficulty in the lesson? I told you it was easy. Why? Because you worked hard with your conjugation. Are you with me? You know exactly what form of verb to use. Huh? Okay. And you know where the file was. That made things very easy, inshallah. Now, remember, this knowledge that we have gained, we will apply with the different verbs. Lesson number five, brother, is very, very important. And very beautiful. And a new concept. Why don't we have a tea break now so that there is no interruption? Huh? There is no interruption after our thing. We will carry on, inshallah. Huh? Brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. Now we will start lesson number five. Now remember, I told you earlier that in book one we had only four verbs. Huh? Only four verbs. Now, from this lesson onwards, the flood gates of verbs are open. Now, verbs will come from every side. Huh? Okay? They will come like a big flood now. Huh? From left, from right, from up, from down, the verbs will come now. And you have to understand their meaning. Okay? Again, they are simple because it is all Mahdi. We are still doing Mahdi till lesson number 9. And remember, all these things that we practiced, the 14 forms, now you have to remember which form to use uh, according to the file. Uh, inshallah. Now, there are in English, brothers and sisters, there are two kinds of verbs. Huh? I will write down on the board. Huh?
If you can remember the Arabic term, well and good. If you don't, just remember transitive and intransitive for the time being. The intransitive verb, brother and sister, the sense is complete with the verb and the subject. When they are used in the sentence, the, you get a complete sense. For example, Hamid sat. What will we say in Arabic? Jalasa Hamidun. Jalasa fiel Hamidun fail. So fiel and fail, they are both happy with each other. We get a complete sense. Zahaba Hamidun, Hamid went. Kharaja Hamidun, Hamid exited. Raja Hamidun, Hamid returned. Are you with me, brother? We get a complete sense out of it, you know. But if I say to you, Fataha Hamidun, what is the meaning? Open what? Are you with me? You did not get a complete sentence. Did he open the door of the car? Did he open the door of the classroom? Did he open a window? Did he open his book? You don't know. Are you with me? So did you get a complete sense? No. You did not get a complete sense. You needed something else in the sentence to be mentioned in order to get a complete picture. Huh? So what do you need? Something else to complete the picture is you need an object. Huh? What is it, brother? You need an object. Huh? Okay. And what is the Arabic of object? Mafa'ulun bihi. That's all. This you must memorize. Mafa'ulun bihi. Mafa'ulun bihi. Okay. Bihi is jar majur. Remember. Huh? Okay. Not be who, but be he. Huh? Because there is a kasara there. Okay. Fine, brother and sister. Now, how do we know whether the verb is transitive or intransitive? Yeah, if there's, it needs object or not, you ask question. Either ask what or you ask whom. When you ask a verb this question, and if you get an answer, yes, okay, then it means there is an object needed. Uh, if you cannot get any answer, if you cannot get any answer by using what and whom, then it means the verb is intransitive. It does not need an object. If I say, Hamid sat. Ask a question. What? <laughs> it doesn't fit. Whom? Doesn't fit. So it means it does not need it. Hamid sat. Fine. Very good. So Jalasa Hamidun. Now I say to you, Shariba Hamidun. Hamid drank. Drank what? So now the, everything fits. The question fits. Huh? Drank what? Huh? So then you need an object. Shariba Hamidun al Maa, al Shaya, al Kahwa, Asir al Burtukal, orange juice. You know? Are you with me? Khalak al Lahu. Khalak al Lahu. Allah created. Created what? Then you need an object. Are you with me? Khalaqallahu al insana. Then you need an object. And that object will always be mansub. What it will be now? See, now we are coming in the mansub forms. It will come from everywhere now. 
So object will always be mansur. Shariba Hamidun Alma A Asha Ya Al Kahwa Ta. Are you with me? Asira. Okay? You will always have this. Okay? Now, the same thing will be if I say Amina, then I will say Sharibat Aminatu Alma'a. Sahi? Sharibat Aminatu Alma'a. So do you see Mafulun Bihi coming? And Mafulun Bihi will always be Mansu. Always be Mansu. Mansu. Okay? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, so these are the things. Daraba Hamidun. What did I say? Daraba Hamidun. What is the meaning of this? Hit. No, here, whom will come? Hit whom? He must have hit somebody. Daraba Hamidun. Al-Walada. Hamid hit the boy. Or say Hamid hit Muhammad. So what will you say? Daraba Hamidun Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Why Dan? Because Mafulun Bihi is always Mansu. Got the idea? Mafulun Bihi is always Mansu. Fahima Muhammadun. Fahima Muhammadun. What is the meaning of Fahima Muhammadun? Understood. Understood what? Uh, then you say Adarsa. Kataba. Now let us use Moanas. Katabat Aminatu. Katabat. Ah, Minatu. What is the translation? Wrote what? Letter. Arisala ta. Arisala ta. Why ta? Why Mansub? Because Mafulun bihi. Sister Sumaya. Mafulun bihi will be Mansub. Now you can look in the Quran and you will see, inshallah. So if there is a Transitive verb, there will be mafulun bihi. If there is an intransitive verb, uh, then the fiel and file are very happy with themselves. They don't need anything else. Uh, but when it is transitive verb, then the fiel and file cannot give you a complete sense unless you bring an object. Are you with me, brother? That is all we have to do now. Now, Look at this, brother. Huh? When the pronoun joins a noun, what do you get? Mudahaf, mudahaf, really. Are you with me? Okay. And when the pronoun joins harf jar, what do you get? Jar majru. Huh? And when the Pronoun joins zarf. What do you get? Zarf and mudafili. Huh? Remember that? Okay. When the pronoun joins a noun, you get mudaf, mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun when the pronoun joins a zarf. We get zarf wa mudafilehi. Now this is what we learned in book one. Now we go one step more, and there is no song for it. Until you think of that. Until you think What is it, brother? When the pronoun joins a verb, 
when the pronoun joins a verb. What do you get? Mafulun bihi. Are you with me? Now with the verb, that pronoun becomes mansub. Because mafulun bihi is mansub. When the pronoun joined the noun, it became mudaf mudafili. So it means pronoun was mudafilihi majroor. Sahi? When the pronoun joins preposition, you get jarun wa majroor. So pronoun became majroor. And when the pronoun joins zarf, you get zarf and mudafilihi. So mudafilihi is majroor. But now when the pronoun joins the verb, we get object. And objects are all mansub. So then that pronoun is, is mansub now. Are you with me? Okay. So, huh? are you with me? Okay, now here is the verb. Brother, I'm just giving you an idea. Huh? Here is the verb. What is it? Sa'ala. Huh? What is the meaning of Sa'ala? He asked. Are you with me? He asked. He asked. Whom did he ask? He has to ask somebody. Are you with me? So I say, I asked. How will I say, I asked? Sa'altu. What will I say? Saltu, fine. Is this correct? This is your verb, sa'al. Huh? And then comes your five. Saltu. I asked. But you asked whom? Okay. Okay, now let us put the pronouns. Huh? Let's put the pronouns. Just put the pronouns. Saltuhu. What is the meaning of saltuhu? I asked him. Are you with me? I asked him. Okay. And then make it saltuhuma. Huh? I asked two of them. Saltuhum. I asked them. Are you with me? I asked her. Saltuha. And two of them. Saltuhuma. I asked all the ladies. Saltuhunna. I asked you. Saltuka. I asked two of you. Sir. I asked all of you. I asked you. Saltuki. Are you with me? Saltuki. And then two of you. Saltukuma. And then if I say, I asked all the uh, ladies in front of me. Saltu. I asked myself. Sir. <laughs> now here there is a little trick. Huh? Uh, there is a little trick. But I will tell you and repeat it later on. Okay, brothers and sisters. Saltuhu. Then hum. Ka. All these things. Ha will come. Okay. Now, we are doing verbs. Are you with me? I'm giving you a hint. Huh? And I'll repeat it. If you don't get it now, don't worry. Huh? Okay, brother. Here is the verb. What is the verb? Sa'al tu. If I put ya mutakalim here, what will happen now? Sal. Sa'alti. Brother? I ruined the verb. What did I do? I, because sa'alti, sa'alti is a... Tu is I. T is anti. Are you with me? T is anti, sa'alti. Remember? Let us conjugate sa'ala. Sa'ala, sa'ala, sa'alu. Sa'alat, sa'alata, sa'alna, sa'alta, sa'altuma, sa'altum, sa'alti, sa'altuma, 
Sa'al tunna, sa'al tu, sa'al na. So if I put ya mutakallim, then it will immediately make it into salty. No, I ruined the verb. The verb got ruined, brother. No, I got to protect that verb. Whenever ya mutakallim will come, I know her habit. She has a habit. Adat se majboor hai ye. Aap samjhe? Aap adat se majboor hai. We have to safeguard the verb. We got to protect it. So what do I do? Look at it very carefully, brother. I say, Sa'al tu and then I put something very peculiar and important. Noon. What I put? Na. Noon, I put noon. And then I say, okay, I'll put ya mutakalim now. So what will be? It will become saaltu ni. Are you with me? So by putting that noon, I'm telling ya mutakalim. You can give any as much kasras as you want to the noon. But don't touch the verb. Huh? I'm protecting the verb. So what is this noon doing? Protecting, protecting the verb from getting kasra because you know it will ruin the verb. Are you with me? So what shall we call this noon? Protector. Protector. Yes. What do you call this noon? Protector. What do we call in a proper way? Noon of protection. Huh? And what do you say in Arabic? Noonul Vikayati. Noonul Vikaya. What do you call it? Noonu Vikaya. Huh? Okay, I will write down. What did I write down, brother? Can you see? What do you see on the board? Mudaf mudaf ilahi. Noon of protection. What did I write? It is protector. What did I write, brother Hassan? Noonul vikaya. Noon of protection. Now, this is what is very important. Are you with me? When will you use noon of protection? It will be used most of the time with ya mutakallam or maybe always for ya mutakallam. Because ya mutakallam will give kasra. So you will have to use noon to safeguard the uh, verb from getting ruined. Because sahaltu is what I want to say. I asked. And then you will have to say, me, I ask myself. Huh? Okay. No problem. Saltuna. Saltuna. We asked ourselves. Are you with me? Only in Ya Mutakalam, Nunu Vikaya has to be used to protect the verb from getting ruined. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Inshallah. In most of the verbs, brother, the pronoun will be either, you know, who or ha. Who or ha. Huh? Okay? But remember, as I said to you, that uh, when the pronoun joins a noun, you get mudah mudahfili. When the pronoun joins preposition, you get char majru. When a pronoun joins zarf, you get zarf and mudahfili. When the pronoun joins a verb, then you get mafulun bihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? <laughs>